namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa I pay my homage to the blessed one, to the worthy one, to the self-realized one. Puti mukha peta vattu The story of the peta with a putrid mouth. While the teacher was sojourning at Kalandakanivapa in Veluvana, he told this story. Once upon a time, in the days of the Kas- blessed Kasapa, two men of good family, under his instruction, left the worldly life, abounding in the practice of morality and living with austere penance. They dwelt harmoniously in a certain settlement in a village. Then a certain monk of evil disposition, who found delight in slander, came to their abode. The elders received him kindly and on the second day went with him to collect alms. The people were rendering the the elders the highest possible obedience and serving them with rice gruel, boiled rice, and other foods. And he thought, Nice is this village as a resort for alms, and the people, endowed with faith, gave savory food. Here is shade too, and water. One can live happily here. But not as long as those these monks are dwelling in this same place. Well, then I shall so act as to do for them so that they can they come not again to stay here. And he slandered them the one to the others. They both became gradually suspicious and thought it may after all be so and lost trust and avoided each other and soon without telling each other each went to a pleasant pleasanter place the people asked the slanderous monk reverend sir where are the elders gone he replied all night they were quarreling with each other they set out without yet heeding my words as i said do not quarrel be harmonious and among other things i added those who are so disposed are gladdened by a big fight then the people entreated just let the elders go for our sake however you stay here and have no regrets he assented saying all right while dwelling there he considered after a few days through covetousness for a dwelling, I estranged these monks. Alas, I have been intent upon much wickedness. Overcome by deep remorse and having fallen sick from agitation, in a very short time he died and was reborn in the Avicii hell. Later, he was reborn in this Buddha period not far from Raja Gaha as a hungry ghost with a putrid mouth. His body was gold-colored, but worms coming out here and there from his mouth were devouring it as it emitted a disagreeable odor. Then the venerable Narada, coming down from Vulture's Peak, saw him and asked him in this stanza about his deeds. You have a beautiful heavenly complexion. Floating you are standing in the air, yet worms are devouring your mouth which has a putrid odor. What act did you commit of your? The Peta the hungry ghost replied, A monk I was, Wicked and of ill speech, though fitted of fitted for austerity, I was unrestrained with my mouth. I obtained my complexion with austerity, and a putrid mouth, on account of my slander. Now, this has been seen by yourself, Narada. They 
who are compassionate and virtuous would say, Do not backbite nor speak falsely, then you will become a yakha, enjoying as you will.